This is Elijah, right? This is my mother. Come, come speak. This is my hello. Welcome to Seven Shield. This is my mother, Carrie Liam Heron. Carrie Liam? Liam is not my name. <laughs> Liam is your name, not mine. Okay. Welcome back to my kitchen. This time, properly lit because I have set up two lights. The last time I promised you that I was gonna shoot a new and updated video of my Jamaican jerk seasoning and this is it in my kitchen so you can see my kitchen very bright, brightly lit through these two lights that I set up so if you want to see more about why my light my kitchen is so bright for the first time I'm gonna show you in the description box this is the most popular video on the entire channel and it's been 10 years so it's time to do an update right so yeah this is it we're gonna do it with all of these lovely 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 fresh ingredients how wonderful is this and how great for my jerk seating and this would be the perfect thumbnail say thumbnail Understand this on my blog chefandsteward.com, which I will link in the description box You'll be able to find a printable recipe for this so you can print it and have it whenever you want This is really a phenomenal jerk seasoning that I make from scratch and you're in for the ride So let's just get right to it. Let's not waste any time, right? Let's do it So if you go to my blog chefandsteward.com, you'll see this recipe and it is there written out i also have the old video which you actually have to watch i'm going to link it in this video as well as in the description box and here when you click on print you can get the printable recipe that you can use at any time i start off with getting my vegetables prepped and i use a lot of these onions brown onions i also use red onions at times and I want some nice medium sized onions, nothing too big. I want onions that are really packed with flavor. And I use quite a bit of onions in my jerk seasoning. So this is how I cut an onion. By the way, if you want to learn how to dice a video an onion or garlic as well, I have videos on that in the um, on this channel. So we just get those prepped. I cut each onion into halves, each halves into thirds, and then each thirds into thirds. And so we have this cut up doing the meat and plus lots of peeled garlic. I have loads of garlic in my jerk seasoning and fresh thyme. I prefer the thyme that is very hardy, not and very woody. Not so as you see, it's a little bit harder to cut. Uh, not the ones that are very thin and flimsy. So those are much more flavorful fresh ginger so all fresh ingredients here so far in my jerk seasoning and then we have these peppers these are ahi peppers which are the ahi peppers are so close to the flavor of scotch bonnet pepper the difference i find in the flavor is really a matter of heat a really good ahi pepper smells exactly like a scotch bonnet pepper the heat in a ahi is not as intense as a scotch bonnet and i find that upon cooking the heat dissipates but the flavor profile is so much similar i'm adding himalayan pink salt here you can use sea salt yes i used it I put mine in a sea salt container because I'm a Caribbean woman and we recycle everything. These are whole black peppercorns and this is nutmeg. I'm showing you here that I already had some grated nutmeg and I grate from the whole ones. I don't buy ground nutmeg. Cinnamon is different because I use a lot more cinnamon um, and cinnamon tends to be able to be to hold up to to being grown for a while so i have that cinnamon put it in i've cut off the ends of the scallions those are great to replant so this is a gift that keeps on giving do not throw away these ends you can blend them up but you could also just put them in some soil or in some water and then you'll be getting fresh scallions or green onions or spring onions however you call it and i put those on top because i'm not trying to get i'm tr putting the harder um herbs and stuff on the bottom so this is 
vinegar this is cooks from trinidad supporting our caribbean people and only a splash of vinegar i don't want a vinegary um jerk seasoning that is allspice native to jamaica that came from my father's farm and some brown cane sugar i only used like one spoonful for an entire vat of jerk seasoning and i'm adding more pepper because hey and i always smell these peppers because i want to make certain that i'm having the right ones because on a pepper tree two peppers could be on the same branch and not have the same intensity so i started off with this blender and let me explain something to you this process of blending depends on the blender that you have this blender which i no longer have praise jesus for journeying my mercies is not very efficient as you can see so it takes a lot longer i my blender preference is in order of priority or in order of you know from from most coveted <laughs> to least would be um an uh vitamix then ninja nutribullet would be the second um in place and i have a nutribullet now this one i got in aruba which i couldn't get good brands in aruba and it was very oh, so i did more things i saw you saw me add more time this is more allspice as well because i like my jerk seasoning to be allspice heavy and the order in which you process these things would not change if you had a stronger blender but it's actually good for you to see me use a regular blender because then this is much more useful for the general average home cook than one who is able to get more of a commercial blender but yes it can be done it's just a tedious process it takes a long time and you have to stop and start and so on and so i wanted to illustrate that i've shortened the time drastically i sped it up and i've cut out a lot but this takes a very long time for me to do and it takes it's a labor of love but it's that's why i make a huge vat of it i never make a small amount why well, go through all of this work for just a little bit so i'm adding more of the same ingredients again i always top off with the scallions and i'm pushing them down because again this blade this blender is not as efficient as something that is probably about 1800 or 1600 watts so we work with what we've got we use it to the best of our ability we use what we have as efficiently as we can because we don't create excuses for not being able to do the things that we need to do right so you can do this thing in a regular schmegular blender again more allspice from my daddy's farm in jamaica thank you daddy and i need another three black scandal bags worth because i'm running <laughs> low now and yes so this is the process you notice it's getting greener and greener as i add more of the green things to it because i didn't add a lot of the green things at the beginning i i did the harder things at the beginning and then because i don't want to over blend the um the green stuff usually i would do the green stuff at the end i'm adding more cinnamon why because i've tasted it i i taste everything because your talent your your palate is gonna be your greatest measuring equipment your taste buds so i added some more cinnamon because i felt it needed more cinnamon and i'm just getting that incorporated again because it's a lot of a liquid in there now the blender is full i'm putting that out in my tub then adding the rest so now that I've emptied it, I'm again going back to the same formula. And I also forgot to tell you before, you saw me do it, but I didn't mention it, that I added uh, oil. So the oil that I'm using is a plain oil, and this could be canola or sunflower oil. I don't generally, or peanut oil, I don't generally use any um, soybean oil or, vin or vegetable oil just a splash tiny splash of vinegar again i just add enough to get some liquid going liquid action going to help the blending process so that i don't burn out this blender which actually did happen not long after this so this video is like about a year old and i'm grating more nutmeg because i tasted it again and i wanted more of a nutmeg flavor so i'm adding more nutmeg using my microplane grater and you can get the list of all the things that i use and prefer to use in my kitchen in my amazon store 
I have an Amazon storefront that has all of the kitchen essentials. And outside of this blender that you're watching now, my kitchen is, is actually very well stocked. So I'm very grateful for that. And as I told you, I've since switched to a Nutri Bullet blender. And I'm quite happy with that. But this is just a Hamilton Beach blender that I got because when my shipment came to Aruba, my blender didn't come and I couldn't get a good brand of blender in Aruba. So this is it. I am now mixing everything and that's it. Here's one thing I want to leave with you. Very, very important is that you need to wash immediately your blender. If you don't want that flavor of all of these very, very strong aromatic um, spices and so on to, you know, onions and garlic and all of that in your blender, wash it immediately. And I use Dawn Original like all the time. I use this on my cloth nappies for my son when he was a kid. And this is still the best dishwashing liquid bar none. And so you scrub efficiently every part of the blender, disassemble it and break and wash all of the nooks and crannies so that you can get all of that flavor out. Wash it multiple times, rinse it thoroughly, scrub, scrub, scrub. And that's very important. I'm going to show you in a little while what it is that the jerk seasoning looks like. My jerk seasoning does not look brown brown like a lot of people or not, not like the commercial variety because i do not add browning to mine there's no need to do that it the meat will caramelize naturally when browning or when grilling rather so this is my jerk seasoning and the this is how i've applied it this is my jerk my jerk chicken and this one I actually did in an air fryer and i've got a recipe for that one this is jerk shrimp that I made for a cooking class. And this one I did, this is a jerk shrimp burger that I made for the Daily Meal that was also published on MSN. And this is my jerk pork. So all of these were made with that jerk seasoning. And I just want to highlight these ladies, these beautiful ladies that came to my cooking class. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, and share.